we go. Turn that blue to What's good? What's that, man? Give, give the people a few more minutes. How you feeling? Good, good fam. What's up with you? Oh, man, you know, trying to get it. Yeah, double salute to a real one, to a certified real one. Cheers. <laughs> the red Moscato, fam. There it is. I appreciate the movement, man. And everything you doing. You know I stay following everything. Oh, yes. What's, what's the vibes feeling like? Oh, man, I feel good, man. Yeah, I see you. I see you all suited and booted, looking look look looking a one. Yeah, you know, just throw a little. You know, got got to keep it a little fresh. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep it a little fresh. Nothing too major. Yeah, I see you. Uh, you, I seen your first couple uh, little interviews. It was nice, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Just uh, get this thing going. You know how it is. Just got to let it roll and let it build. Yeah, yeah. Stay. You got to stay focused and stay uh, consistent. That's all you got to do, man. Exactly. It don't happen overnight. It don't it, happen overnight. Definitely. That's, that's what the people want to see, consistency. That's what they want to see. So exactly. got to keep giving it to them. So you, so you sipping on that red Moscato, huh? Yeah, man. Wifey got me, uh, got me turning into a wine guy now. So, you know... Uh, I used to do the Hennessy and, and that type of stuff, the dark, but now yeah. I, I'm, I'm enjoying the wine as I, as I get older. So a little bit of red yeah. potato, ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you know, for, for a nice smooth evening, every now and then go ahead and take a shot here and there. But. Oh, yeah, you know, I stay on the, I, I stay on the uh, Henny every now and then, but, you know, during the week, you know, I try to, I try to keep it at a wine. If I'm going to sip on something, try a little bit of wine or something. Yeah. Right. Have you, uh, you been wine tasting yet? No, that's something else we getting into. You know, we uh we went to uh we've been to what was that, Gervais's or whatever out there on forty fourth street. We got we yeah. Oh, um I they got some good wine out there, bro. That that was like some that took me to the next level and really really made <laughs> it really made me want to do some sipping and some tasting. So here in the next month or so, you know, we're gonna go do some tasting, find a little uh wine yard, do some tasting and stuff like that, man. Yeah, you know, it's all, it's all about finding, you know, what you really like. Right. You know, a, lot of, a lot of guys say, you know, they don't think they like wine. I say, you probably just haven't found the man, right one. Man, I'm telling you, bro, uh, I enjoy it now, for real. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Gervasi's. I know, uh, remember my boy Dex, we shoot over there every now and then. Might mess with the brandy. They got a nice little cigar bar out in the back too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went to the uh, Crunch House. That's the only the one we've been to. I guess that's where the where they make it at. And uh, okay. And so uh, it was pretty nice, man. The food and everything. I enjoyed the whole thing. So it's a transition from the wine thing right now. Like I said, from the you know from the the liquor, the cognac to the wine. But I'm, <laughs> I'm enjoying the transition, bro. That's what it is. You hit the gym today. Uh, I ain't hit it today, fam. I'm, I'm <laughs> honest. I did, it, I'm always talking that no days off. I did. I, you know, I always do a couple hundred uh, push ups and a uh, couple hundred body squats at the, you know at the house. I always mm -hmm. do this type of uh, home workout, but I nope. actually hit the gym. No, I didn't hit the gym today, man. But I did get a workout in. Believe that. I'm always on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. All right. We're going to go ahead and get ready to jump into this. Let's jump into it, bro. Okay, let's start with the, the Ace Nation movement. Ace Nation, man. Let, let them know what that, what's that really about. The Ace Nation movement is, is basically justice for my grandson, Ace Lucas, man. He was uh, tragically uh, killed on July 21st of last year. It's been about set, oh, going on eight months now, you know. Big story here in Canton, you know, made national news. And uh, he's my grandson. And, and uh, it was like uh, very tragic, very violent how he left this world at such a young age. He was one year old. And not to mention that his uh, one-year-old twin, identical twin, was was shot also. And, you know, in what uh, they, were, they were both shot uh, in some type of retaliation type move or whatever. Most people around here know the story. But... Uh, it started a movement for our, our cell survived and Ace tragically passed away, man. But uh, from there, it started the Ace Nation movement, man. Like justice for Ace, like, you know, 
first and foremost get the the, the people who uh you know who the, the, the people who were involved in this you know get get justice for ace you know for the for the people who were involved we want them behind bars we want you know justice for uh them prosecuted to the fullest found and prosecuted to the fullest of the law and uh the ace nation movement man we just it, it started my daughter started a little clothing line man and, you know ace nation it was like uh first it, it just started off as a little uh you know just make a couple t-shirts for ace in honor of them and, and, the, and the movement got so strong bro it was like you know everybody started asking for t-shirts and then so she started a little clothing line man and uh it's ace nation over everything bro you know that, that, that that's what we feel and that's where it's gonna be for for all of us man in, in this family until to to, to 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 the death of us man for real that that's what's up for those for those who are not familiar with the story if you can kind of take them through like what happened that night that tragic night man i'm gonna take you back to the day bro like me and ace walked up and down ace wore me down bro mm -hmm. Then they came over, you know, twin. They came over a lot, pretty much every day. Spend time. I'm a family man. My wife, my daughters. They. This is the house. You know, they always come to you and bring the grandkids and, and tear it up and act up. You know, but that day Ace was, you know, active as normal. You know, he he reminded me a lot of me, and he walked me up and down this hill. If everybody know, you know, where we at. Uh, been here for for a long time. It's a hill. Where, uh, the buses go up and down. The starter buses. Now, he walked me from up my hill all the way up and down the corner probably like five or six times, man. It was, it was, I was tired. He wore me out. He walked me through the neighbor's yard. And um, we, we came back. Me and my wife decided to go have a, have, have a, you know, have a quick drink. You know, we, we don't even do it that much. We went over to my buddy's house, uh, my, 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 my best buddy in the whole, my, my dude, number one dude, day one, Duke Parker. We went over his house for like an hour and a half. Ace and Arcel was here when we left. And uh, we came back and, you know, we came back in the house. My daughter and him was still here. We asked where Ace and Arcel went. They, you know, he had left with his father to stay the night with his father. My daughter and his father weren't together, but, you know, he was active in their life. He was, he was definitely active in their life. He, 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 he cared for him and loved for him. I don't, he didn't spend, he spent time with him, but he, you know, he didn't, I don't think he spent as much time as he would like to spend with him, but he definitely was an active father and definitely cared for, you know, cared a lot for his kids. I, I can give him that. But, uh, and uh, we came back, I asked where that is. He said that he had dropped his father. You know, he, they had both went with their father. Him, the twins, and my uh, granddaughter, Alana, my baby. Okay. But, uh, so, you know, we just took it at that, man. I mean, his father, I mean, it was allegedly, in a, it was, uh, allegedly you know, in, into some things that, you know, we, we didn't uh, agree with. But like I said, he was always a free wife. Yeah, free life. He was in a, you know, but he was always active in, you know, in in the, in, the, in the kids' lives. So, right. Uh, dropped him off, and then you know we went to bed, and then got that tragic call. Probably the worst call of my life, bro. Uh, you know, saying that both of them have been shot, and Ace might not make it. So, uh, it was hard. You know, I it was that night was probably the worst night of my life. It, it affected me a lot, but uh, it only made us stronger, man. It definitely made us stronger, bro. For real. Yeah, I remember hearing about it, you know, and then I was just like, like, damn, who who just does, you know, shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Right. And then when I found out that it was your your grandchildren, I was like, fuck, man, that's you know, what I'm saying? that that's my man's right. You know, and and I have grandchildren, right? That so it, so I I felt your pain like that. I was like, man. You know, I, it was, it was, the, I, 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 I was saying all kind of stuff and it, it was just real crazy for me, man. Yeah. The outpouring of support from, I mean, everybody was, was, was amazing, bro. Like people, people with grandkids, people with kids. I mean, it's just a feeling, you know, and I see, you see this type of stuff in the bigger cities like Chicago, where's right. out that, you know, you would never think, especially me, I, you know, I'm into like, uh, the, the 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 young the the younger rap the, the the younger rap music somewhat you know I like to listen to the young guys the, the street rap a little bit but and and I'm into the news a little bit to the national news and I see a lot of a lot of violence and a lot of this happening in like in the bigger cities like almost where it's not the norm but it happens more times you don't ever want to see it happen but it right. happens more often than not bro and it's like to them you know a, a one year old a two year old year old child gets shot 
it, it's, it affects them, but it's like, oh, it ain't something that, you know, they ain't heard, you know, in the last couple of weeks. But around yeah. here, and then especially me, I'm like, man, it, 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 it affected me to the point, like, how did my grandson, out of, out of all the grandparents, you know, and I wouldn't want to wish this on any grandparent, you know, any right. any person, period. But I was like, how did it happen to me and my family? And my, you know, that was the biggest at first, you know, that after I got out of the shock element, how did it happen to me and, and me and mine, you know? Right. Right. So, um, how, how did you start handling the shock? Like, what, what was your process? Bro, the shock at first was, it was crazy because, you know, first night you want that, you want, you know, you want to go, you want to, you, you want, you want to retaliate, you want to hurt somebody, you know. Right, I know how you get down. Yeah, you know, you, and, and you know that was far from that. I had left, probably left the street, like probably, probably a good six, seven years, you know, prior to that, like officially, like I don't right. want more of it. I, you know, I'm inactive. I don't care what what people say, what I did, what they heard. Uh, it's over with for me. You know, I, I want a new life. I want to show my kids that a different side of me that, you know, that they should have seen all along. So I had all but given it up. So for that part was hard to push that side of me away. You know, that was the hardest part through the whole process, bro. And then when I got guys that's, you know, coming here, my dudes coming here, ready to, you know, ready to get down, ready to ask, you know, asking questions and ready to move, like seriously ready to move. It's hard, bro, because, uh, you know, I ain't from that. You know, I'm from, we, we, you know, I, we from, we, I, we ripped and ran and we did stuff, man. But a lot of, it was a lot of, it was a lot of hand play, but if it had to come down to it, uh, you know, things happen. But for the most part, I ain't never been a dude, I mean, never been a dude that's down with, like, like, like hurting innocent people, bro. You know, let alone innocent kids. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that was, a, that's always been a, like I said, we was gangsters back in the day, man. But we we stood on like like certain morals, certain principles, bro. And that was right. something that you 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 didn't do, bro. You didn't you didn't try to hurt no nobody's grandma or nobody's dad or nobody's especially nobody's kids, bro. Like that 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 ain't how it went down. So it's a new age thing. Like these kids, these young guys, that's what they into, I guess. So it's something that I could never understand, but you know, uh, I do understand the streets though. I, I understand how the streets is, bro. That's what helped it. That's what helped me not go and, uh, retaliate the way I did because I, I knew it was a big picture that I knew about. Yeah. So I didn't want to react upon emotions, especially that first night or those first few weeks. I don't want to react upon my emotions because I didn't want other innocent people to get, uh, you know, to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it to stop. At, yeah. at, once one-year-old kids start getting hurt and and, and, and one-year-old kids start getting killed, bro, you know, it's like... Yeah. And, you, and you're that close to throwing everything out the window like, fuck everything, it. It's everything that you work for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything, you know, it's, it's at a point then when, like, one side of me, like, you got a lot to lose, bro, you know? Another side of me, like, everybody is expecting me to, to move a certain way because a lot of people know how, how I moved back in the day. A lot of people didn't know how I moved. How, I mean, a lot of people see me and people know me, but I had got so low key. I was, you know, I had been working the same job for probably the past seven years, you know, probably 12 hours a day, 12 to 14 hours a day. And I got so into, you know, family orientated and pushed myself so far away from the streets and what was going on into the streets? I had got so out of out of tune. What was going on to the streets? It was like, uh, but a lot of people didn't know that. You know, a lot of people that I had that I hadn't seen, like the people that I that was around me and my family knew that. But uh, so when this happened, a lot of people was expecting me to move the the old the street way, the Jakey Jake. You know, the way I used to move in the streets, which me and my people used to move in the streets. Me and my crew used to move in the streets. You know, so. And I was far from that, man. I just wasn't built for that no more. You know, far as far I had come too far, even though it had it, the tragedy, as tragic as it was, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to go back to that life, bro. I honestly, right. I just wasn't built for that life. The time, the uh, I know at, at the end of the day, nothing good comes out of it. You know, somebody's a, somebody's going to end up hurt. Somebody's going to get end up um, killed. Somebody's going to end up locked up. More yeah. families going to be hurt. So nothing 
nothing in good comes out of that situation. I mean, you might have some satisfaction for doing something, getting some type of get back to, to people or whatever. But, you know, at the end of the day, that, you know, that, that wear is off. So, you know, nothing good comes out of that type, that type stuff, bro. Okay. So, so you was just processing, you you just balancing everything out. Like, all right, I got too much shit to lose. Got wife, kids, still got grandkids. Yes. Yes. If I go, if I, if, if I react and believe me, bro, I'm from the old school. So I know how to react. I ain't from when I ain't like these, you know, when we, like I said, we got down a lot with the fist, bro. But when we did have to do some damage, it was real. In the streets night right now, today, my history is probably known for beating cats up and stomach cats and doing a lot of stuff with the fist. A lot, I did a lot of shit that a lot of cats yeah. don't know about because that's the way it's supposed to be. You ain't supposed to know about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, these guys did stuff. They do stuff and run off their emotions, like, in broad daylight in front of everybody. Or, and, then, and then go on live. Yeah, and then go on live and tell everybody. <laughs> ride with their GPS on so the police can come get them, you know, with the guns and shit. So we moved a completely different way, bro. If it was time to go, I mean, I had dudes. I ain't gonna lie, I had cats that ran with it, ripped and ran with their pistols every day. But, uh, I mean, I, I can be honestly, anybody that knew me, bro, I didn't never really keep a pistol on me. I didn't have to keep no pistol on me, bro, because... I ran through the city with respect and I gave people their respect and people knew if you crossed me, bro, that I was that type of guy that it was, you know, I was cool enough of a guy that you had done something crazy. If you got me mad and I had to, you know, and if I had to get back up on you. So that's the type of situation it was, bro. So when this occurred, man, it was like old Jakey Jake versus new Jakey Jake, a big clash, man, like a mind clash all in, Man, all at once, and it was like every day, bro, a battle, a serious, serious battle. As far as like, because even my family, like even my daughters, they looking at me like, move, like you. They want, they want me to. They mad, they hurt, bro. They want me to, to tear something up. They want me to get them to flip that switch. And I and I and at the same and, and at the same time, you know, it's the side of me. Like I said, the old Jakey Jake want me to want want to flip that switch too. But it's like it ain't worth it, you know. If I go down, if I do something crazy, then or if I get killed behind this stuff, then who they gonna fall on in? You know, I'm supposed to be I, I'm supposed to be the leader and the, and the man of this this whole situation from the ground up. If I had to. I really had to man up, man, I and mean, really think. And, and it's still, I'm, 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 a, I'm a work in progress, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Every day is, every yeah. day is, it's, it's a battle, bro. Every day is a battle. Some days is worse than others, but uh, the movement, the movement, and see how the, 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 the love that people got and give that the real people, the, the solid people, because you can tell when love is like sincere and when it's, you know, it's that fake love, as Drake would say, to call it out, but. Yeah. Uh, Hell, when the real love, the sincere love is there, bro, it makes you get through the day, bro. It, it, it honestly do, for real. That, that's what's up, that that you was able to battle those demons. Because that, cause that's what it was. And Demons, bro. Demons. <laughs> demons. And, and what it was, what helped me out a lot, bro, was... God put me, man. And what's crazy, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That night when, when this happened to my grandson, bro, I said some of the most terrible. I looked up, bro, and said some of the most terrible things to God. Like I I, I thought I did I just now talked, started back praying and talking to God probably a couple few weeks ago, bro. The nerve to even start talking to God and asking him for stuff in my life because that night I spoke to him so 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 wrong and so it was like it took me a while to, 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 to uh, recover. I know right. giving God and all that, bro, but it was like, it took me a while just to even have the nerve to even talk to him again because I said such horrible things to him, you know, because how could this happen to my grandson, you know what I'm saying, and, and cursing at him and, and, you know, going off. So once I got, you know, even like, like God put some incredible people in my life, bro, like like the guys that I work out with some new friends, like some solid friends, like uh guys that not that, that ain't gonna judge you like you uh, or 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 guys that really wanna see you win, bro, wholeheartedly wanna see you win. Not those guys just, you know, laughing in your face and yes, man, but behind 
50, 50 niggas. 50, 50 niggas. Yeah, 50, 50 niggas, what we call them. So uh, he, he, he put some, some good people. He brought some family members back in my life, man. I mean, that, not back in my life, but I really wasn't in contact with much. But you know our fam, some family, bro, you, you ain't got to talk to them for a while. But when you right. look back up, it's like you never left off. And uh, he, he, he brought some family members back in my life, bro, that that really lifted me up, man, and kept me going to where kept the kept the new Jakey Jake, kept me on the new Jakey Jake side, the, the, the new path, you know, like leave it alone. I, forget what people want you to do. You know, forget what people expecting you to do. You know, you've been doing this good for this long. Find something else to do to, to, to take that old energy and that those things that you want to do and uh, put it in and, and, and put it in a different movement and, and move in a different way. Stay positive. Everything right. work out for itself. So when I started getting that vibe and started getting it more and it started getting instead of it being 50 50 old Jake, new Jake, it started being 70 30 new Jake. Old Jake, you know, 80, right. 20, new Jake, old Jake. So now I'm about 90, 10 right now, bro. Like I have my days, man, you know, when I really want to, you know, I, you know, and I have my, I try to stay in the house because if I see certain people or, 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 or I don't want to see certain people, I ain't going to say I'm going to react, but I just, it, 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 my day will go bad. You know what I'm saying? It's still at that point. Cause it's still fresh. You don't ever want to, you don't never want it to be nobody that had control your day like that where you see them and you just, uh, but it's still kind of fresh and it's still kind of emotional. So it's still people that I don't want to run into, bro, because I feel like, you know, it, 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 I just feel a certain way about them. So I, right. I keep my way, I try to stay out of certain areas, stay out of certain uh, scenarios. I don't go to bars. I don't do none, none of that. No, I really wasn't going anyway for the past seven or eight years anyway, but it's just like I'm 90 10 now. You know, I want to get to that 100% wholehearted, like, you know, not, I ain't going to say wish the best for everybody because the, the people that whoever was involved with this, I don't definitely, I would never wish the best for none of them, you know? And that's just the way I feel, man. I know God is forgiving God, and I know you're supposed to, I don't, anybody, any and everybody that was involved in, in, you know, with the tragic death of my grandson, bro, I have no sympathy, no nothing for him, you know. So, um, but they got to get what's coming to them. They got to get what's coming to them, bro. So, eventually, if you got something like that, and then the kids think it's cool, you know, a lot. It, it, it's a lot of it to the way the world is today, bro. You, you would be surprised how just how how people don't care. How 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 little people, the 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 lack of uh, the value of life, bro. Like people, the value of life, people don't even, especially these young kids. They don't even they don't even care no more. You know, they'll kill you over looking at them wrong, stepping on the shoes wrong, couple dollars. You know, they'll yeah. they'll they'll do dumb shit like shoot shoot this shit. I mean, I ain't gonna get into it, bro. But it's like the reason why my grandson is gone is 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 just crazy to me. How he never ripped and ran the streets. He never snitched on nobody. He he never threw up a gang sign. He never right. robbed anybody, bro. But he was the one that and and, and I and I did all. I I never snitched on nobody or none of no shit like that. But I ripped and ran the streets and I did all kind of shit, bro. And you know, I, I got stabbed. You know, I, I I damn near lost my life. I got stabbed nine times one time. I don't have some a few close incidents, but how could he take a shot and pass away and he never did nothing, bro? And and guys like me make it twenty plus years in the streets and and survive. You know, that's what that's another part of, that that messed me up. You know, for a while, but I'm I'm not. You know, I, I'm a work in progress, bro. I feel pretty good where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? I, when it first happened, man, I was crying probably five, six, seven times. I was a mess, bro. I wasn't who I wasn't myself no more. You know what I'm saying? I, justifiable, but you know that it's justifiable though. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but for me, it wasn't because I thought, like I said, I thought I was built for anything, man. You couldn't tell me that Jakey Jake wasn't built for anything. That's what I had got to the point where. Not financially in life, I wasn't comfortable, but mentally, I was uh, I was built and prepared for anything that happened. I thought I was, but when this happened, bro, it was a major setback for me as far as like, I mean, I, I still feel like I can handle it, but as far as me, it, it's the hardest thing that I, I've ever had to handle by far, bro, by far. Yeah, I, I mean, that's, can't even imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you don't, that, that don't even happen in, in your worst nightmare. In your worst nightmare, bro. And it's like, like I said, he was here that day, bro. And he, Ace reminded me more, like Bria, my daughter, who, who, who was Ace's mother. She reminds I got six kids, and she reminds me, you know, I love all my kids the same, and I treat them the same, and Lord knows I don't love them, not one of them or favor one of them more than the other. But Bria reminds me more out of all of my kids of me the most, you know. And Ace, I got five, five grandkids, and Ace reminded me of me the most. He Out of all my grandkids, I love them the same too, so it was like, Arcel, me and Ace had me and all three of us had a bond. Me, Ace, and Arcel had a bond. But it was like when I looked at Arcel, he looked more like his father, and he uh, acted a little bit more like his father. You know, I loved him the same. But it was like when I picked up Ace, it was like me. It was like you know all of me. I felt like he was the he was the grandkid that reminded me the most of me. Right. And so it was hard, bro. It, it it really was hard, man. So it. it it, when I got over that standpoint, like this is life, Jay. For because for, for months it was uh probably a couple months, bro. It was like I was the first couple months I was in shock, shell shock. Cause of course you got the people coming over when it first happened. You got the the funeral, you got the family, and then when all that wear down, you know, for like it was like a month and a half, bro. I was scared to be by, by myself, like in the house when wifey went back to work. I was like, man, and in the daytime, I'd be here. I'd be like, man, I would hate to sit in the house by my, myself because it was mentally, it was wearing me down, bro. I was just sit, sit, sitting here and cry all day long, you know, thinking about it, ready to go back to the old Jakey J, you know, right? sitting on it. But uh, as time goes on and as time wears on, you know, and like I said, I got some good people in my corner, people talking to me, right? You know, people keeping me in line, man. So it's been... I've been. I'm, I'm really proud of myself, bro, at, at, at where I'm at today. And, at this far, this because it's like I said, it's only it's not even been eight months. But I'm, I'm really proud of myself for where I come from. Uh, you know, a few months ago, because I was in a, I was in a real bad state, man, for real. I was in a bad enough state to where I didn't think. You know, I was saying I was saying go ten times get hard, go ten times harder. But right at ten, I was trying to go ten times harder, and I was still feeling short at the end of the day like how could this happen like i ain't doing i ain't did enough to uh to to, to keep my keep ace's name or keep the ace nation movement going you know that's all we want to do man we want to keep the ace nation and the justice for ace the, the justice for ace going man that's all we want to do and now uh, that has started a whole movement that seemed like you're getting a lot of love and you know i see the shirts and all type of uh, clothing and paraphernalia Man, we got so much. My daughter started the uh, Ace Nation. Man, it's just the t-shirts, like I said. Now she got, we got, uh, she got sweatshirts. She got the uh, Ace Nation sweatshirts. She got the uh, Ace Nation t-shirt. She got the Ace Nation kids, man, and uh, kids shirts. A lot of, a lot of stuff coming out, man. Retail doll. She, uh, you know. Uh, in the process of starting to uh, donate some of the proceeds to her favorite uh, nonprofit organization, you know, to you know, a lot of it do kids violence and not uh, violent crimes against kids and stuff. So uh, she doing real good with the, with, with the clothing line and with the, and with the, uh, everything she doing with, I'm proud of her, man. She, uh, she a tough girl, bro. I mean, for her to lose her, her twin and she, and she have her days just like, I mean, she called. She called on us a lot. She called her mom. Her mom is a, is a trooper, bro. Like the way she helped hold up for the kids. Like they call on the kids call on the mom for a lot, a lot more than me because they know. Uh, I mean, they just know how I am, bro. They know that uh, I take. I she. I'm just gonna say she a lot stronger than me, bro. As far as like the day to day calls and the. And on that handling the kids situation. So her and Bri, Bria probably talk, oh my God, 10, 15 times a day. Like they just constantly talking. They, she constantly keeping her up. But um, the way she, I'm so proud of my baby, the way she handling this, the, the clothing line and, and, you know, handling, taking care of Arcel, his twin brother and keeping him up. And, you know, uh, it's hard for, her. she had her days, but man, she handled it nice. And, and then she got days where she see people around here. Or she might, 
you know, she she sometimes she get on she she left so, social media alone a lot. She had to because you know people was ignorant and people say everybody got something to say. Yeah, everybody got some something to say. Everybody got their opinions. And I never fed into that, bro, because first and foremost, I just got probably my year uh, from Facebook, my being on there a year, because I ain't never been no social media guy anyway. You know, it's my first year on Facebook last January or something I started. And I probably been on Instagram probably probably six or seven months. You know, I was always that dude against social media because it was so much negativity and so much. But then I told myself that, you know, if, in order, I, I felt so far behind, bro. I said, I'm going to have to catch up, you know. Eventually, yeah. I'm going to have to start doing this stuff. So I got me a little Facebook last year. Got me a little, you know, Instagram, for, like I said, six, seven months ago. So, But she stay off, stayed on Facebook a lot, and she always chimed in on comments, always chiming in on conversations. And, you know, you got them you, – you got these keyboard gangsters and these tough guys yeah. that always got their opinion. And, you know, real ignorant people, people that careless people, that's it's a lot of people in the world like today like that. They don't give a fuck yeah. that, a, you know, a one-year-old, one year old, two one-year-olds were shot and one-year-old uh, passed away, you know. So people chime in and say it's ignorant shit. And she get mad and, you know, she ready to get the person's address and she calling ready to round up and ready to do because she like, man, they talking about my baby, you know. But... And I, you know, you, we got to talk to her and tell her, hey, Britt, calm down. You know, them people is ignorant. They don't, they, that's what they own here for. That's their life to, yeah. to, to say stupid stuff and get stuff riled up for no reason. So, because it's too comfortable behind the keyboard or on the phone. Because what, you know, you and I saying it to their face, so you don't got to deal with that instant repercussion if yeah. you say, right? Yeah. Yeah, people, you know what I learned, bro, best I get, I get older, people is a lot different when, when you in they, 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 people, I learned this at work, man, working with people, man, they'll say a lot of stuff behind your back, bro, but yeah. you walk there, walk, walk up in front of them, they whole mentality change, bro, they whole attitude change, they <laughs> tight lip, buddy. They, they they your best friend or they, they, they for everything that you was for, but boy, let you turn your back and walk about that room. They talk about yeah. it like a dog. Yeah, it'd be crazy. I, I had a I had a couple <laughs> situations on social media where a, a, a person get get the comment crazy. I, I hop in the I, inbox and I, call them. I need to hear this. I, I need I need to make sure I'm I'm feeling this energy right. I need you to say this. <laughs> hey, I see. <laughs> Hey, I, I think I seen you with a little social media beef or something probably a couple months ago or something, a little small one or something going on. Somebody, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Cass, you know, they caught up thinking some of those, like, dude, if the shoe fit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I ain't even going to do all this comment. I, I talk, what's up? Yeah, that's what got with it. Uh, and then a lot of times when you do that, the whole story changed then. Like, oh, I didn't mean it like that. When it's just y'all two on the phone. But but yeah. you know, when it when it's everybody, when it's on social media and for everybody to hear, to see it, it's blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. But they don't hear that when you call on the phone, it's oh man, I didn't mean it be like that, man. You yeah. what I meant was because and yeah. I felt like it, this. It, I get that you trying to put on the show. You yeah, you get that a lot. <laughs> the book bro one of the, one or the other you know but i use this as a I, I try to use this no negativity man i try to use my social media platforms as like like zero negativity and all either promotion or positive stuff family stuff because i yeah. look like memories now man even with even like what's going on like all my pictures with uh ace and and, and our and my grandkids kyler and Caden and uh lana all all my pictures with my kids i, I look at added as memories now on this on this social media platform because it's, it's a way for me to go it, you know lord willing if i live another 20 30 40 years these is our photo albums man to uh, yeah. look back into instead of you know how, how grandma or or your auntie or your mom got them ones them photo albums with the polaroids that we flip through and you see all your favorite pictures man these facebook pages and these phones man is our is our photo albums for you know the future man and these these, these is memories man so I'm starting to take it a lot more serious now, as far as like you know, on that side, I would never never beef with nobody on Facebook. On, on right. social media. 
I would never downgrade nobody on social media or talk about nobody. Never. You know, if it gets to that point, bro, I won't even, you know, we, ain't, we don't even need to be talking. So, uh, but I will promote my, promote anything like Ace Nation. I, pro I promote that to the fullest, bro. And uh, I will show you that I'm a family man and, and the stuff that I do with my wife and my kids and stuff like that now, you know, because I, I know I can look back on it 10, 15 years from now and, and have nothing but laughs and smiles about it, you know, Lord willing. You know, pe people have to be more conscious of the energy they put into the atmosphere. Yeah, bro. You know? And yeah. people don't, don't look at it like that. Just like the same thing you, you say or post, like all that negative yeah. and sad energy. It's like you you just keep it going. If you put it put out good energy, you can reciprocate it. You know what I'm saying? Even on a bad day. Because in the way I look at it like this, it's hard to have a bad day. You can have a bad moment, mm -hmm. but that moment shouldn't rock your whole day. You know, because right. some people get bent out of shape at work. Uh, my supervisor, blah, 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 and now they whole day screwed oh, up. There you go. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they look, they go home talking to the kids crazy. They go yeah. home to they to they sim to they to they uh significant other crazy. Whoever they call, their friends might call, they talking to them all loud and crazy, telling them about the incident. You know what I'm saying? It just messed their whole day up, bro. I don't see it happen. It don't happen to me a few times. So I used to let it happen to me, you know. Not yeah, no you gotta, yeah, you gotta keep that in check. Like whatever yeah. happened here, it's gonna yeah. stay here. Yeah. And I, would, I never bring work home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I used to, you know, I took pride on that, especially at the, uh, I used to, long time ago, I used to do that. I used to bring home to work and, and work home. You know, if I had a bad, you know, something happened with the kids or something happened to the wife at, at home, I would go in and take it out on my co coworkers. Or, you know, if something happened at work, I had a bad day at work, I would get out of work and come home and, and take it out on my wife and my kids, you know. So in the last, I say, I don't grown. Like I said, I'm real proud of myself. I had started the process of growing probably like, man, because I was a late bloomer, bro. I started I started learning and started acting like I had a little bit of sense, like fully probably 38, 39 years old, bro. You know, so, and then like from 40 to like, like, like 38, 39, I had said, you know, I'm done with all the goofy stuff. I'm trying to start learning like, you know, what what really being a man is about, you know, not ripping and running the streets, not screaming no gang gang, not um, cheating on your wife and and, and, look, and lusting and doing over other women and all the all the dumb stuff that I was doing. I said it's really time to man up, and, and you know, and be a man. You know, I I I I I, uh, I challenge myself. I, I challenge myself on doing that, and you know. Like I said, I'm a work in progress. Sometimes, sometimes you slip in life. Sometimes you uh, you have setbacks. But the main thing is when you take a couple steps back. You know, you got you got to take five, six steps. You got to recover and take five, six steps forward. You know, recoup and recover. So I'm proud of myself where I've been in the last decade, man. I learned to judge people a lot better. I learned to type. Most importantly, I learned to type my circle up, man, and and really recognize. They say real recognize real, man. And I started recognizing what you recognizing uh, fake is what is what real recognize too. You know, it ain't all yeah. about recognizing real. It's about recognizing fake and staying away from the fake and staying away from the suckers, man. And what I realized, I I, I back in the day, I thought I was hanging with a bunch of a real. A real gorillas and real real ones, man. And I was hanging around a bunch of fake suckers, man. You know, so when I start cutting, slicing that down, man, and really, really, because I always been a family man, but when I really, really devoted myself, started really like uh, becoming a real family man and, and and enjoying the little, even just the smallest stuff, like sitting in the living room with the grandkids playing or, you know, out in the yard cutting the grass and, and my granddaughter want to come and help me play, help push the line more, that type stuff, you know. So when I started enjoying, really enjoying and taking little moments and memories like that, man, and pushing all those bad memories and uh, things that, you know, that I, I ripped and ran and did, you know, because I, I ain't going to say I was the worst dude in the streets, man, and I ain't, I ain't did, you know, I ain't was you know no shoot them up gang gang bang bang like dude all the time did a lot but i did a lot of shit bro and i did do a lot of shit to like like people that that didn't deserve it at times you know just just on some 
just on some um i'm with i'm with my peers type thing you know I, it, we on the we out had a few drinks let's let, let, let's 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 just cut up just because you know yeah so uh i felt like a lot of that was out of me and a lot of a lot of i was having a lot of sympathy and a lot of uh emotions for the things that I did I, for, to other people back then. I was feeling regret for for those type of things that I did and really, really feeling it. So I was in the transmission, transition of uh, really having, uh, feeling other people's pain, man. Like when somebody else would hurt or when somebody, when something happened, to, they didn't have to be a family member, bro. It could be anybody. Like yeah. I really started feeling people's pain and understanding like what life was really about and the little stuff what was all about and started yeah. thinking, like the stuff that we used to trip over wasn't really important at all, man. You know, the stuff that we used to fight. That's that growth and maturity. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I started enjoying that and like, wow, man, this is where I want to be at. And made amends pretty much with all the people that I felt like that I had dead wrong, you know. Made amends with, you know, I got two two other two other baby mothers, which I, I mean, not with one, I'll never deal with them again, but made amends with them because we was on bad terms to the point where, hey, you know, we gon' we gonna raise my we gonna raise these boys like uh not arguing and fighting and saying stuff to each other about, you know, bad stuff and we let's raise them on good terms and let's and, and made amends with all the people that I thought that, you know, I had did bad or even people that did me bad. I just, you know, I, I was on the point of life where I was the second half where I was ready. And then that happened to Ace, man. This happened to Ace. So it kind of was like it toggled me. It set me back. It was a it was a major setback at one point for me, man. Because like I said, I was ready to go back to the old me. Right. And I didn't want to go back to the old me, man. Never again. Man, and from my perspective, you have an amazing, very amazing wife, man. Man, man, my wife, this babe, this, I don't call her babe, this, we, we joke around, but this woman is, she don't stuck with me, bro. Any woman would have, I mean, far as like, any woman would have left a man by, we've been married 21 years, man. We've been together 28, 29 years, man. We've been married for 21 years. So, uh. She, man, any woman would have left a man years ago. I'm talking about she stayed with me, bro, when everybody, even me, told her, get the fuck away from me. When her family, everybody in her family was like, her mother was like, he ain't no good for you. My family was like, he ain't no good for you. You know, she stuck. She don't. She didn't care, bro. She rolled with me through, and, 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 and it's been a process, even with, you know, I got, I got, you know, and I, I'm an open book, and I speak, and I've spoken this before on my on my YouTube channel. Like, bro, I used to be the worst type of husband, bro. I would cheat on my wife, rip and run the streets, uh, lie to her, you know, constantly, constantly, bro. And she put up with it. She was always right there, faithful to me, right, right there by my side. So, uh, for her to still be here, man, it, it, you know, it's like you can't. You couldn't ask for you couldn't ask for more, bro. And, and a woman, and then like we do, she, she we do have our days. We have a time. She get on my nerves, but this woman, <laughs> this woman is incredible, bro. Like the the stuff that she don't put up with, with as far as me. I mean, it, I mean, sometimes I, I have embarrassed her throughout the you know through the through the city. Her, her fans, I've like embarrassed her like from the, from my actions, being young, stuff that I done, and you know to where she was put down and fell down. Like I said, everybody wanted her. to – the, to, to leave me and leave me alone, but she stayed, man. She's still here, man. She's still here, solid, man. Ain't going nowhere neither, bro. So, she an amazing woman, bro. I look up to her a lot, especially her growth. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> going back last year, her growth, man, is amazing. Like with my sons, uh, John and Jake. Uh, you know, we got four daughters. Me and my wife got four daughters. And my two sons, Jaquez and uh, Jason, uh, which are not hers, you know, but I, but I, but I had, you know, during our, I, I, during, while we were married, you know, just, just being me out in the streets, she learned, right. accepted a man and, 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 and have a, 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 a good relationship with a man for the most part, man, uh, allowed me to be with him and spend time with him. You know, when most, most, most women, if that happened, 
they 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 leave their husband, period. But if they do happen, they don't want their husband to be no part to these, you know, these kids, you know. This woman has been incredible, man. I ain't got nothing but good words to say about her, man, because uh I know for a fact, like rich, like broke, if the bank account got zero in it, or if it got, you know, a billion in it, you know, she gonna be there. She gonna be the same. She ain't going nowhere, bro. So uh, I commend her, man. I'm thank I, I thank God for every day, bro. Like I said, I, your sound I, messed up a little bit. I thank God for every day, bro. Can you hear me? Let's see here. Hold up. Try it again. You hear me? No, you kind of muted a little bit. Can you hear me now, Al? A little bit. Can you hear me now? Your mic still sound a little muted. My mic sound muted. Can you can you hear me clear? I hear you pretty clear, bro. I my mic sound. Yeah, you muted. sound sound a little bit muffled. You can Hey Brandy, you can hear us? Still sounding muffled. Okay, Brandy says she can sit, she can hear us. Okay, that's what's up. So we're we're roll with it. Okay, y'all right. can hear it. All right. Yeah, that yeah that is that's a blessing to have a, a a woman of that stature. Man, bro, like I said, I thank God for every day, bro. Uh, man, we just like any other relationship, especially bro. Like we've been together for a long time. Some days we be at each other's throat, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but most time we in we in a good space now, man. Like the, the age thing, I ain't gonna lie, it took a toll on us, man. It really did, bro. I mean, stuff like that's supposed to bring bring you together, and at first it did, but you know, probably like you know, four or five months into it, man, we we was we was at we hit a point, we hit a wall where we really we was waking up a lot of days, and we didn't want to look at each other, man. And we was uh, it got it got it got pretty bad for a minute, and I thought that you know. Like I said, stuff like this should bring you together, man. But uh, it got bad for a minute, man. But like I said, we in a good place now. Like where we at, man. In, 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 in any relationship, it's gonna get kind of rocky. That's what relationships is all about. Ups right, and, ups and downs. Believe me, ours has been a roller coaster, man. But one thing you can never take away from us, man, is that hey, we we still together, man. We ain't, outside of when uh, you know the couple times that I had to go away, man. Um, we ain't been together. I mean, we would get we get in the spats, man. But it's gonna be probably a week or two, man. I, you know, everything gonna be be all right. So, uh, and that's the way it's been for years, bro. So, uh, she 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 watch over me. I trust her, and uh, I do anything for her, man. I, I love her to death, man, for real. She 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 really she she really make she my rock, man. She my everything for real, man. No lie. I don't I don't. I mean, I don't look at no other woman. I know that. Uh, if I will never love another woman the way I love her, so it ain't even no it ain't even no use to even thinking about you know nothing else but her in my life forever, man. That's the way I that's the that's the way I honestly feel about her, man. She don't done too much for me. She don't stuck by me through thick and thin, so I could never I could never leave her, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, can, I, I I'm forever indebted to her is what is how I feel, bro. <laughs> oh no doubt, hell yeah, you in debt. Yeah. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> all right, now, with all that, how did you jump into the workout videos? The workout video, man, if anybody know me, man, I've been in shape. I, I pretty much stayed in shape my whole life, man, as far as, like, working out, man. Even though, uh, you know, we go back to the mini park days, bro. You know, we yeah. go way, way back. And, you know, you like we, we, we hooped all the time, bro. We played basketball, mini park. That was our thing. But then... I probably started working out probably, I don't know, 18, 19 years old. I worked out playing in high school, like, 
didn't take it serious because it was sports and stuff like that, you know, but, but I had to, because I played sports, football, basketball, whatever, excuse me. But, uh, I started working out like probably 1920 and believe me, bro, when I started working out, it was for all the wrong reasons. Like I said, I used to be a terrible dude, man. And it was not, <laughs> it was not for, for me to, for, for me to be healthy. It was for me to, you know, to show off the chest and the arms and the, and, 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 and for it to be attractive to women, you know, that's when I first started working out. And I liked it, the response that, you know, women gave, gave you when you was in shape, you know, in, in decent shape. So I just took it from there. So I pretty much stayed in shape, bro, from from like nineteen f till till now. But I, a couple times I fell off the bandwagon because of you know just on purposely. Like man, I'm tired of working out. I've been working out for for, for five six years straight, man. I'm a, I'm gonna take me six months off, you know, and get get me a little pop belly and see if I can go ahead and run this shit off real quick. Like I know I can, <laughs> but uh, I started working out, man, and then. For years, I wanted to uh, I wanted to do what I'm doing now because uh, uh, I got I got I, I started learning exercise as well. I started you know I, st I started learning my body what what my body you know what needed what made it grow. I started learning nutrition. Uh, I started getting into uh, not actually bodybuilding competing, but I, a couple guys that I was working out with was trying to get their pro cards, and uh, I started watching them going on the same diets as they was going on and uh, while I was working out with them, but I just wasn't competing, you know? So I started learning the nutrition aspect of it. I started learning all the exercises, all the body parts. So years I would ask my wife though, like, Hey, you know, can, can I start? I, I would always tell her, and I, I got let letters I would write her when I was locked up from home, her and my mom, I would tell her, tell them when I come home, I'm gonna be a certified, uh, personal trainer and nutritionist when I come home. You know, that was my dream. But uh, by me being the man that I used to be, my wife always felt uncomfortable because, you know, I was that. She knew that she knew that I was doing that for all the wrong reasons, you know, mm -hmm. working out for the chicks and the, and the women. And we was already having other issues with me, you know, being um, unfaithful and stuff like that. So, it made her really, really uncomfortable, bro, to be honest. So I pushed away from it. You know, I never, I would always push away, push away, push away. And, you know, I would wait a few years and say, hey, babe, can I, can, can I, I want to, I'm thinking about doing this personal <laughs> No, 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 no. So finally, man, after this happened to Ace, man, it was like, uh, I got the, the I, I always had that YOLO mentality. You only live once, you know what I'm saying? But once this happened to Ace, man, it was like, I kind of put, I, I, I asked her, because in, in my, even in my, if you look back on my Facebook, uh, Jakey Jake, if you look on uh, when my first start in my YouTube, I mean, my Facebook, J J July, January 21st of 2020 is when I started. Mm -hmm. So on that day, I was in the weight room and I said, coming soon, YouTube. I was thinking about it. I said, uh, get in shape with Jakey Jake. But I was just playing around. I did a couple little little reps and stuff. I said, coming come shoot, coming soon on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, get in shape with Jakey Jake. But And I was kind of playing with it then. And then I, I kind of asked my wife again, and she, for the last time, she was like, no, absolutely not. I mean, and I took that, you know, because I, I didn't want to do I said, you know what, I'm not going to do nothing else ever again to make you feel uncomfortable, you know, because you've been through enough and it's time for me to, you know, make you feel, make you treat you like you're supposed to be, like I should have been treating you many, many years ago. You know, you deserve right. it. So then this happened to Ace, man. And I got that. I always had that yellow mentality, like I said, but after I was like, you know what? I asked her, but I kind of told her like, Hey, you know, this is what I want to do. I, I was, a, uh, I had been working in my job seven years. I worked all the way up from, you know, on the floor to running the whole second shift. You know, I was a supervisor. I ran the whole, the whole building, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it was hard, bro. I, them seven years, I put a lot of sweat, equity, heart, tea, wet, uh, blood, sweat, and tears into getting where I got to, bro. And, uh, the big bosses seen a lot, seen something in me, and they moved me up to the top. So I was supervising probably for three years. I was a supervisor at my job. I was doing making decent, you know, good money, and uh, you know, four hundred one k. Everything was going good, but 
I told my wife that that wasn't what I wanted, you know, that, that, that ain't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You know, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to, I wanted to make a change and impact on people's life. I wanted to motivate people, man. I felt like that's what God really, really, really what he put me here for, man. Cause a lot of people, they get, they, you know, they don't, they haven't asked this, their, themselves this question. What has God put you here on this earth for? Right. It's here for a reason, bro. You know, God gave everybody a special talent. It might be the smallest, dumbest talent. It might be, a lot of people don't even know what, what they good, some stuff they good at, or they nick at something that they could uh, excel in or, or do well in. But I knew that motivating people and working out was was something that I, I could do and something I could do well if I just had the right people to back me and if I had the... Uh, the resources, man. I had they had the resources. I had to get I had to get certified and stuff like that to get, you know, get everything in order, get everything in tune. So Right. I I asked, I ain't gonna say I asked her. We I asked her, but I kinda told her like, hey, I ain't giving her no ultimatum, but it was like, man, the, I, this is the only way that it's gonna keep me sane from going crazy about doing something behind what happened to my you know, what happened to Ace is like Right. Working out has always been a big part of me taking my like frustration, out, especially after I left the streets and stuff alone. Of course, you yeah. go, like like your therapy. That's kind of like your therapy. Huge therapy, bro. Like a good, good way for me to take my stress out on a daily. So I made it a lifestyle, you know, working out every day was already a lifestyle for me. But I made it to the point where it's almost like mandatory that I do some type of workout every day. I don't care if it's some type of home at home or or go to the gym, it's like, that's what I got to do in order to relieve the daily stress that comes, you know, the, the, the stress that comes along with the day, the stress that comes along with life. So that's how I started handling. And with Ace, when this, when this happened with Ace, I was built up with so much stress and so much anger, bro. The only time that I wouldn't think about, the, you know, the situation is when I was either working out or when I was either thinking about putting this workout channel and doing these workout things together, this workout thing that I'm doing again. That's the only time I would stop thinking about it or stop crying or stop wanting to retaliate or stop wanting to fight in these sides that I had on me. So I, you know, I told my wife, look, man, this is the only, this is the only therapy that I got right now. Let me start this. I promised her I made her some promises and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I made her some promises, which, you know, I, she, she trusts me and stuff like that, but, I made her some promises and, and and she okayed it, man. And it, it's been going pretty good so far, man. Better than what I, better than what I thought, because uh, the business side, man. I'm just getting, I'm just learning the business side, of everything. Cause I ain't really, really never been no businessman type dude. You know, I always mm -hmm. do get business. You know, I, if you do do business in the streets, it's, it ain't no yeah. signing no contracts or going to no banks and <laughs> no accounts and all that type. It's an exchange of goods and you know. It is, yeah. you know, so uh, the business side, man, is uh, it's getting to me a little bit, which I'm learning. I, I You know, I, I learned how to uh, edit all my videos and, and, and do uh, everything is from scratch, which I wanted everything to be organic and everybody to see the growth in, in the channel and the growth in, in the movement. You know, I didn't want to come in like some of these high dollar companies or these big money companies that already got them everything in tune and. They just powerhouse everything because you know that's cool, but uh, pe people appreciate uh, appreciate your uh, success, or they pe appreciate you as a person more if they see you from the ground up and they see something grow from like the seed to you know to, to the plant and the seed to they see the whole tree blossom. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to see people uh, see me with the kind of sloppy edited videos and the kind of yeah. the, the beginner stuff and the in the, in the beginner mistakes so you can look probably a year down the line and see dang his videos got a little bit better man you know his his you know now he got a little he got a couple little clothes on the market now he you know and hopefully another another five six was not you know he's shooting all his videos in 4k video now he got you know he got a little uh he, he got a gym and he got i want to see people slowly see the growth compared to me just jumping in and I already got all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want people to respect it more because this is this this whole movement is from the mud, bro. It really is. Like i you know, I was a hard working family man. You know, I I that money has never been really a big issue to me. I used to have I used to 
you know, when I was in the streets, I ain't gonna say I was no kingpin or nothing, but I had a little money. And uh, it, money was never an issue. But once I started working, man, and started doing the right thing, I found out quick. Like, it humbled me. I was already a humble dude, but it humbled me like, uh, hey, you can't do some of the things that, that you used to do when that fast money was coming in, bro. You got to <laughs> sit down and kind of act, act, act You, you right. got to learn how to, how to stretch that budget. Uh, yeah, how to budget. And you can't just go splurge because, you know, when you splurge some money that – when you splurge $600 that you don't made and – in, in, in three, four hours, it's nothing. And you know you don't get it back. But when you try to, you get $600 that you don't broke your back for in a week, you know, you don't want to work every day for eight to 10 hours. And the government don't tax and took $200 out of it. Now you only, you, you're supposed to get eight, 900. Now you only get 600. Now you like, man, I want a penny pinch and spend this money. The <laughs> that is, you know, instead of, instead of, instead of blowing and it, spurs, splurging it. So the business side is what's, you know, I'm trying to learn a lot. And it's and, and I got some good dudes around me that's helping me. But, man, I see we got a lot of stuff going on with the with the merch and with the uh, the videos. And it's, it's going to get nothing but better, man. And it's therapy for me. And it keeps a lot off my mind. And uh, so I, I can't see myself stopping no time soon, man. I try to stay in state. I'll tell you what I love about it. I remember when you, when, when you start first popping the videos up. Yeah. And the thing that makes yours unique is it's fun. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? It's entertainment. Yeah. And what a lot of people got to understand in, in this business, no matter, you, you can do all the exercises properly and all that, yeah. but in order for people to gravitate to it, yeah. it has to have entertainment value. Mm. Well, you're funny, man. <laughs> you do, do your little Jakey Jake dance. Jakey, Jake, <laughs> little Tony, all that, you know what I'm saying? That, like, the shit is hilarious. Yeah. But you still <laughs> giving the lessons at the same time. And then I like how you mix it up. Like, you know, I'll see some episodes and you going hardcore gorilla style. I'll be like, man, them niggas don't even look human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you had them, them big dudes. I was like, man. But then you got, like, the home stuff you can do and the, uh, the workout you did with your wife, yeah, that was dope. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. And you mix it up, and you try to make sure you have something for everybody. You keep it lighthearted. Yeah, you um very motivational. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying. I try, and, and to me, that's what makes it so dope. I tried when I announced I was gonna do the channel, man. I announced it as a uh, fitness, family, fun, and motivation, man. So I, I was trying to have but like the kids and stuff more into it. More, I got a couple episodes of my my grandson and my grandkids doing little push ups and stuff like that, acting silly. But I wanted to bring like more fun and fun and, and stuff into that and family into it, along with the fitness and stuff. I mean, when like even when I first started out, man, I was throwing wigs on and doing the doing the damn Tucci slide and doing all kind of goofy shit. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> which I'm going to bring that back, man. You know, the Jakey Jake dance, I ain't did that in a few episodes because I was getting more like, uh, trying to get more tutorials since I, I mean, like more on the, you know, uh, teaching side, not, not no rocket science, science type stuff, but I was trying to, since I got my uh, certifications, I was trying to like teach a little bit more, but a lot of people want to see that, that silly side, man. They, 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 they like that per They want to see your personality, man, before they want to even mess with you before they want to buy your product before they want to buy your workouts or even before they want to work out with you you know they want to they want to see how you is as a person and your personality and i get that a lot man people like that that that, that jakey jake and all the little the little tony and stuff like that yeah like people like that a lot man so i'm i keep i try to keep it in there as much as i can but uh you know, I, I I do try to mix it up as much as i can bro you know so it ain't the same it ain't the same thing all the time I want to tell you what was real unique. You went on a walk with um, Miss Adrian, Adrian Chavers yes. and your aunt. Yes, yes. That was so dope because it, it was it was simple. Yeah. But it's like a lot of people could. It was just one. Get out and walk. You know what? Them is some of my best view um, shows, man. On on, on YouTube is because. Uh, and, and and for me, bro, that's what the channel is all about. I mean, it ain't – I know I got, you know, some big dudes because that's what I like. I like, the you know, the the, the, the bigger guys that work out because I'm a little guy. So I like to, to see them guys throw up that weight and do the, some of the things that they do. 
for me, I like it the most. But would I, I mean, more than anything, I like to see um, stuff like that. Like people <coughs> with disabilities, people with um, limitations, people with, you know, that been through like double hip surgeries, knee surgeries, people that, that let themselves fall out of shape. Not to the point where it's just no return, but to the point where they really, really want to get back in shape. They just need somebody to motivate them and push them. Them is the shows that, them is my favorite shows, bro. Like my Aunt Rochelle, the one I did with my Aunt Rochelle uh, on Monument Park. That touched me, man. I touched a lot of people because uh, it's a lot of people in her, in their shoes, man, like uh, 55 and up, 60 and up. That still, you know, body still can work out, still can uh, do some type of working out. But they just can't do the full, you know, full activity of working on some of the workouts. But right, excuse me. I try to tell everybody, man, do a little something every day, man. I see you be on your, I see you be on your mountain bike rides, bro. Uh, your bike rides any day, you know, throughout the weather, bro. I be peeping you like this stuff like that, man. That keep that make us live long, bro. You know, do a little something, little something every day. That's all you got to do. That's all I'm trying to get to motivate people to do. Just a little something every day. Yeah. Yeah, we we gonna have to go on the bike ride this spring, man. And for sure, uh, we gonna tackle them elements, man. As soon as they get, soon as they get decent outside, I'm yeah, gonna do another outside series here soon. But man, it's been so cold outside, bro. I I try not to do nothing under like twenty five degrees. Yeah, this, this, this is an unhealthy cold. <laughs> and, and they and they ain't clear. No trails, nowhere, right. and and it's a lot of ice. Right. Right. <laughs> Hey, when you know it's bad when the snow crunchy, right? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that ain't good news at all, is it? <laughs> it's, it's bad when, when when you take them first steps, just go to the mailbox and all you hear is crunch, crunch, crunch. Yeah. Oh hell no, that ain't good for nobody, bro. That's that's that Ohio weather though, bro. It might mess around and be uh, it might mess around and be sixty degrees two two days later. So you don't never know what's going on around here for real. Yeah, that that's what's up. You got any, you got any shout outs? I, well, because I, I, I know you you got your workout crew with man, Sam. Man, man get, get, show your people some love, man. And I got to shout out all my my first and foremost wifey. You know, Tamika Torrance at Vita Singletary. That's my baby, man. All my kids and my grandkids. You know, I'm shouting them out. My workout partners, my dudes, man. Ra Hammond, uh Big Diego Robinson, my dude. Uh, Sam Carter, that damn Sam, he always turns that damn Sam, the weatherman Sam now. And yeah, the weatherman Sam, Willie Will Sparkman, you know what I'm saying? Will the Thrill, this dude like to bust them dance with moves out with me in the videos, dog. Uh, yeah. Who else? My dude, hey man, uh, uh, Jamar, my dude at Hefe Physique on, um, on 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 Instagram, man. He just won his, uh, uh, he got his. Uh, he step away from me. Almost getting his pro card, man. Good dude on one of my first couple videos, man. Uh, I got to shout out my cousin Devon Torrance too, man. He doing all my uh, underground computer work and, and stuff like that. And Big Diego, man. Big Diego Robinson. He 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 doing the app for us, man. The the, uh, the get in shape with Jakey Jake app, man. It's gonna be dope, bro. It's almost complete. It's gonna have all our profiles on it, all our workouts. Uh, wow. But it, 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 the app is incredible, man. He been putting a lot of time and a lot of energy into it, man. We got some dope, we got some dope merch coming, man. As far as uh, the get in shape with Jakey Jake uh, brand, we got some dope uh, sweats, uh, men's uh, shirts, uh, uh, women. We got a women's uh, merch line coming back here. We got a bunch of stuff coming, man. We got all the samples and stuff uh, a couple of days ago, so. I'm I'm just laying all the groundwork for twenty for for 2021, man. So so 2022 can start. I can we can start uh, moving everything forward and start as a company and as a business, man. We want to start growing this Ace Nation over everything, man. I want I can't I can't stress that enough. The Ace the Ace Nation uh, merch, the Ace Nation movement, it goes everything over this get in shape with Jakey Jake. But to get in shape with Jakey Jake, man, I got the YouTube channel. Go to your uh, YouTube search engine, just hit it, punch up, get in shape with Jakey Jake. Uh, Instagram, the real Jakey Jake 330, man. Holler at me on that. Uh, DMs, I'm starting back my personal training, all, all, all sessions. Uh, March, the beginning of March, I'm starting out uh, sessions. And uh, so, uh, and if you want any Ace Nation merch, merch man, get get at my daughter, a retail doll, on uh, Facebook, man. Uh, 
the, the, the merch is incredible. Uh, we got Amber Pryor LLC. Uh, I mean, uh, Amber Customs LLC doing all the merch, but she she doing an incredible job. So, mm -hmm. uh, everything is rolling rolling good, bro. We, every, uh, and uh, we got uh, Wifey doing the blankets by Mika. Uh, she that movement been going on. She's doing her blankets. That's doing well. So, we got a lot of stuff going on, man. We trying to put all this negative energy and all this negative stuff that happened, man. And just try to try to keep it as positive, and try to keep keep our minds and uh, keep keep stay humble and stay busy, man. That's all we trying to do, bro. Turn tragedy into triumph, my brother. That's what we trying to do, man. We gonna that's definitely what's gonna happen, man. And believe me, man, we ain't gonna fall into none of the haters. We ain't gonna let nobody. I ain't let nobody trick me off the streets, bro. I'm on a straight. I'm on a straight positive path, man. I'm here for my family. That's all I'm thinking about, bro. And I'm thinking about the movement, man. It's Ace Nation over everything, bro, right now. And it's that's right now, right then, for me, it's Ace Nation over everything, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, I want to thank you for your time, my brother. Hey, man. I want to talk to you. I've been peeping it out. I'm like, all right, I got it going. Hey, I appreciate you. It's an honor being on here, bro. Anytime, bro. Uh, anytime you need anything, man. I Like I said, I respect the movement. You've been a certified real. I, mean, I always leave. You see the comments I leave in your comments. Yeah. About your perspectives, your insights, bro. Always on point, bro. I stay following you. I see every day I get you going into work. You know, so I, I, I want to hear the positive thing. You keep <laughs> morning, bro. So I'm going to tell you, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I appreciate you, man. Double salute. I, I love you, man. And uh, keep, keep, keep your movement going, too, bro. We watching, man, for real. You, uh, you, no doubt. Appreciate you. Salute. Salute, bro. For real. Be safe, Al. All right, you too, fam. Yep.